Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video in the kitchen and today I brought my mom and we are making Oreo balls. Oreo balls. They are a family favorite of ours. We make them every single year. They're delicious. Super easy. Anyone can make them and yeah. So all we need is some melting disc chocolate. We got red and green. I get them at like a market that sells like a bunch of like bulk items, but I think Michael's carries certain ones. Target has online. these ones, right? <laughs> these are the Giardelli brand. And then you just need one pack of Oreos, one block of cream cheese, and that's it. Okay, so first you're going to let your cream cheese soften a little bit, take it out of the fridge, like an hour before. Yeah, just like bring it to room temperature. It's just easier to, it blends better. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. We lost a snowflake. snowflake. So for this, you need a food processor, but if you do not have one, you can combine it another way. You know, put the Oreos in a bag, smash it. You know, it's pretty <laughs> self-explanatory. But we are using a food processor in this video. So it's a little easier, I think. It is. Yeah. Don't you want to let some anger out though, around yeah. the holidays? Uh, Maybe. So what you're gonna do is do. Whoops. Whoa! We're gonna be putting all the Oreos in the food processor and getting them completely crushed up. That's about one row of Oreos. <laughs> oh, my nails match the food processor. <laughs> it does. Those that. look pretty well blended. <laughs> all right. So then it should look like this. And if you are smashing them in a bag, you know, just smash them until they're. Completely crushed up like that. Oh wow, it looks like dirt. It does. It does. <laughs> my dessert dirt. And dump them in a bowl yeah. and repeat until you got all the Oreos crushed up. Alright. Hey, we uh. need those. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Have a paw? Thank you. Okay, last set of Oreos all crushed up. Big pile of dirt, like my dad would say. Dirt. Good dirt. And next is the cream cheese. This will be going in, and that's all you need for right now. Oh, cream cheese is the best stuff ever. <laughs> the best stuff ever. I don't know how some people eat bagels and put the thinnest amount of cream cheese, like where you could still see the bagel. It, like my bagel cannot be seen with the thick cream cheese layer. Do you agree or you don't like as much? I mean, I like cream cheese on it, but you do lay it on a little thick. I remember <laughs> back when I was in like middle school, she'd make me breakfast before school. She'd make me a bagel and put like a layer of cream cheese. I can't get this open. She'd give me a bagel with some cream cheese on it and I'd be like, that's not enough cream cheese. So basically you want a cream cheese with a bagel. <laughs> with a side of bagel. Yeah. And she would just give me the tub of cream cheese then. She's like, I don't know how much you want. You, you want a nasty amount. And then we are going to just blend this together in the KitchenAid. So once it's all combined, it'll look like this. Kind of has like a shiny look to it and it tastes so good. Like, I could eat this whole thing just by itself. It's so good. But it's time to roll some balls. What are you guys doing? Mix them. <laughs> and roll them. You're okay. just gonna take maybe like a tablespoon and then just roll it like you would like a meatball. And just Ooh. roll <laughs> I've never made meatballs Ro before, but. Roll them up and Let's see. Them out. I, I like them to be all kind of the same size. Let's see. So. Honestly, yeah, you could make them whatever size you want. Yeah, but I you think could we make, like, like yeah, this is like the perfect like bite size, yeah. two bite size. So, round it. Wash your hands. <laughs> it's COVID yes, season. Still, <laughs> last season and this season, shoot. What are we gonna do? Still gonna eat some Oreo balls though. How do you get the Oreos looking shiny? What? How'd you make the Oreos look so shiny? It's cause it's got cream cheese in it now. Oh. Yeah, it's like oily, like, well, yeah. yes. So then you just keep doing this till you run out of dough. Yeah. Dirt. And I think it makes about two dozen. In case you're curious where Cookie went. There she is. Poor buddy can't have these though. Chocolate. Nope. So weird how chocolate is poisonous to dogs. Chocolate is so good and they can't eat it. So nope. But they also eat like dog food which is nasty. <laughs> what am I talking about? She eats bugs and grass and anything she can eat. How do you know dog food's nasty? You've eaten it? <laughs> I feel like I have. I've eaten guinea pig food. What? Yeah. When? In one of my old YouTube videos, it was like a dare. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's on YouTube somewhere. We like balls. We like balls. What the? We like getting our hands dirty in balls. <laughs> okay, Steph. <laughs> Ed, please. 
Cut. <laughs> Oreo bowls. So today they're making Oreos. Oreo bowls. I have the pleasure to watch and learn, but you know I'm not going to because I'm just going to enjoy eating it. <laughs> and That's cookies good. like attacks attacking me as always. <laughs> Cookie, stop. So this makes you about 24 balls. I think All right. 25 today. Oh, 25. Yeah. And a little bit left over to eat. <laughs> mm. Nice. Then you put them in the freezer. You want to put them in there for at least 30 minutes or longer. Before they go in the freezer, we're going to put a layer of saran wrap on top. And let's go let them get cold. We will get back to you guys when these are chilled. The balls are out of the freezer. We had them in for about two hours. And now we are going to melt our chocolate and get to dipping. We like putting it in the microwave and I just do it on defrost versus like on um, like the normal temperature. I think it just melts better and you don't want to burn it. So be careful. Depending on your microwave. Don't burn it. Um, ours takes probably like a few minutes to do. I've never used defrost. I just throw it in there and smack it on 30 seconds. So. <laughs> and mix it when it's in there like halfway through and check to make sure it's not burned. Mm, white chocolate is my fave. Defrost. All right. Mmm, white chocolate. Do you like white chocolate or dark chocolate now? I like either. Want a bite of white? Sure. Since would I didn't let you have an Oreo. Would you prefer white? I like white chocolate, yes. You don't like dark chocolate? No. Dark okay. chocolate makes me gag. I like dark chocolate. <laughs> makes you gag? Too much cacao. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're also gonna melt the green and red. And if you don't have green or red chocolate, you can't find to. it. You could just drizzle the opposite color on, on them. Yeah, or you could put sprinkles, or you can even use food coloring and dye your chocolate. Yeah, which I've never tried that. But you could try to let me know if it works in the comments. So we're gonna also melt the red and green. If you're watching this around Easter, you can maybe do pink and yellow. You know, you get the gist. Halloween, yellow, orange and yellow. yellow would be cute. Yeah, yellow. football colors. Oh, they look like little Easter eggs. Yeah, yeah you could do them. It would be cute. I've seen pumpkins too. Mm. Okay, chocolate is melted. So grab a ball, dip it in your chocolate, and you're gonna fully coat it, just like that. Spoon, and then get yourself a fork as well, and take it out. You're gonna tap off the extra, or slide it off. And there you go. Grab a ball. Fully coat it, and you have to be quick too because the ball is cold and it'll warm up quick with the chocolate and get soft. When you put it on the paper, you want to be as gently as possible so then the ball is fully coated around it. And it's okay if there's like a little bit of a mess on the wax paper because that'll just come off when the chocolate is hard. Let's do some white chocolate. Honestly, I think white chocolate is the best. So there is a flat side a little bit on the balls. So you could set it down on that one. Gentle but quick. Yeah. So just keep doing this until you are out of balls. And then we'll get to decorating. Okay, now time to do the drizzle. Have your chocolate nice and hot so it's like runny like that. Use a fork and you're just going to go back and forth like that. Super quick. And then I'm going to do chocolate on these ones. Cute. Yum. Yeah, the chocolate looks good on the, the white. So since it's Christmas, I'm going to add some red to the ones with green. A little bit of red. Oh, adorable. Look at that. Do a little more. So just really quick with it because it does get messy. Once the chocolate is dry, you can take it off the paper and pick off the excess. Or you could like just trim off a little bit with a little knife. Like that. And you can use cute little miniature cupcake wrappers and put your ball inside of there. And they're done. We put them in the liners and put them out on a cute little tray. Look how adorable they look. You could do any colors you like, sprinkles. That's what makes it fun. I just wanted to share how to make them with you guys. Super easy. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I love making videos in the kitchen with you guys and let me know what you'd want me to make next. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also click my notification bell and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.